Police say the suspect's robbery spree started at this apartment complex on February 3rd when three armed men forced their way into a family's apartment. It's an experience the family says they will never forget. Scary. It's scary. It's Michael Wiles was home with his brother, girlfriend, and four month old daughter when there was a knock at the door. Wiles says his brother opened the door because he recognized the men from giving them tattoos just days earlier. You know, I've seen him before. I wasn't really threatened. I was threatened whenever he pulled out the gun. He just all of a sudden says, all right, now we're taking your stuff. Wiles says he immediately began fighting to protect his family. He kept uh, telling me since I was I was acting crazy, you know, I was like, get out my house. He was like, don't we don't want to hurt your baby girl. We don't want to shoot your baby girl, you know, calm down. And like that's I remember just bl I, I remember blacking out at that point. And then next thing I know, I'm chasing them down the street. When you're doing a takeover style robbery, those those tend to go south fairly quickly and you want to get them off the street as quickly as you can. Sergeant Brandon Watkins believes the suspects, Montre Fleming, Jeremy Carr, and Deontay Hill, also robbed a Dollar General store as well as a Tulsa Inn and & Suites on February 9th. A surveillance camera captured the three men and woman putting guns to the clerk's head at the hotel. Police arrested the three last Thursday. Sergeant Watkins credits good police work for catching the men, along with a security guard at Wiles Complex who got the suspect's tag number. They got the nerve to come in someone's home, a, a parent's home, and threaten them, threaten their child. They don't need to be outside. They don't need to be freedom. They need to be taught some kind of lesson. As for that four suspect, the female, police are still building their case against her. Anyone with information on her whereabouts is asked to call Crime Stoppers at 918-596-COPS. Reporting from South Tulsa, Casey Roebuck, 2 News works for you.